Christine here. Good afternoon. It's Monday here in Perth, West Australia. Just hanging out in my uh, in my office here and thinking about haters and you know it could be construed as sort of a negative uh, a negative topic, but I got thinking about it this morning in a positive light. I did a Facebook Live video earlier, and I was thinking about why I sort of love this idea of haters. And I, you know, I haven't had any any sort of hardcore haters come to me yet in in my business, but I know that there's a few people in the world that that sort of get around a lot, and I think we can take a lot of value from those people that often show up in our lives and sometimes they're close friends, sometimes they're close family, sometimes they're people that we don't know, but they show up every once in a while and they especially show up when we start thinking big and when we start really putting ourselves out there and we start really shining our light quite strongly. So this morning I was thinking about three reasons why I really love haters and, and what why they actually give us an opportunity um, to, to really do some great stuff. So the first one would be is that um, haters really cause you to sort of stop what you're doing and think really clearly about your vision and really, really get a hold on what you're doing and get clear, get, get clarity on what you're doing and really ask yourself the question, how badly do you want it? So, you know, because haters often lead us to question what we're doing, right? We sort of worry about what people think. And, you know, when a hater comes around and tries to drag you down, it's a great opportunity to just stop and emotionally detach yourself, of course, from the situation and say, hey, you know, how badly do I want this? You know, am I really clear on where I'm going and what my vision is? Because at the end of the day, you know, we do need to understand that it's simply the universe giving us some um, some taps on the back and, you know, asking you the question, how badly do you want this? And are you willing to hang in, you know, when this sort of challenge is thrown at you? So that's the first thing. Second thing would be, um, and I learned this from Ray Higdon, it's all about providing great content. So whatever it is that you're doing, Give value. Anyone who has been truly successful in this world has helped a lot of people. So, um, and this is something that haters don't like. You know, they hate valuable content. They hate value. So if, you know, if someone's getting you down, just put out more love, put out more value, help somebody, just put more goodness out there because that's that's really going to help diffuse, you know, what the, what that person is coming at you with. And number three, I would say that it's really a good indication if somebody's, you know, hating on you on Facebook or something like that. It's a great indication that lots of people are watching you. And um, if the haters are starting to pay attention, well, then, you know, you must be doing something big. You must be doing um, sort of something, you know, that's catching the attention of a lot of people. So those are my three tips for why, you know, we, we can embrace and absolutely love haters. Uh, number one, it gives us a check on our vision and, and ask, we can ask ourselves the question, you know, how serious I, am I about this and how, how much do I really want this? It's a tap tap from the universe. Number two, put out more value, put out more help to people, more love because haters, you know, you just got to kill them with value. And number three, you're probably on the right path. People are probably watching you if, if you've caught the attention of a few haters here and there. So I hope you got value from this. Please come and see me on my blog, christineburke.net, my Facebook page, Ignite Your Inner Bliss. And it is my intention to show women how to, you know, rock out their best body, you know, unleash that inner champion, earn an income from home and ignite their inner bliss. I hope you got value from that. We'll see you next time. Bye.